السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمدللہ رب العالمین والصلاة والسلام علی رسول کریم و عم عباد فرسٹ اف آل آئی ایم سٹل ریکاورنگ آفٹر دی ورڈز اف وزڈم فرم دی مین ہوم وی آل لاو اینڈ چیرش ہو ایز آن آئی سکرینز دی بیس گیف دیٹ آل اف اس کین گیو پرہاپس اس تو ریز آئی ہینڈز اینڈ میک دعا فر ہم because all of us and our children and grandchildren will be standing on the shoulders of these pioneers. May Allah protect them. May Allah give them the best of everything in this dunya and akhirah and make us and give us the tawfiq to follow them, inshallah. Um, it's a very difficult act that I am going to do after some profound words to talk about the mundane, though important, but not as profound. Um, with apologies to those who may have heard me saying this, but to uh, welcome and celebrate the honored guests from uh, across the country and the continent and across the oceans. Uh, Dr. Zainab Albani, may Allah bless you for coming from Virginia. And Dr. Abdullah Idris coming all the way from Igloo land called Toronto to California. And may Allah bless Dr. Ramadan to come from uh, across the pond. So for the pleasure of these honored guests, let me invoke Mullah Nasruddin, a Central Asian mystic, I believe although others have claimed him as well. And Mullah Nasruddin goes in a cafe one day and says that I love the moon and I hate the sun. And people ask him, why do you love the moon and why do you hate the sun? And he replies, I love the moon because it comes in the, in the night when it is dark. It makes the sky look beautiful. It helps us see the stars and navigate our ways, and therefore, I love the moon. And people follow up and ask, why do you hate the sun? And he replies, I hate the sun because it comes during the day when it is bright anyways. <laughs> this is to say that unintentionally, oftentimes, we miss the obvious and forget to connect the dots. Shura Council is in the business of connecting the dots. 19 years ago, when this council was launched by the help and hard work of pioneers like Dr. Hatut, Dr. Siddiqui, Imam Harun Abdullah, Imam Abdul Karim Hassan, Marhum Adam Bhaulat, Murtada Khazwini, Imam Sadiq Safir, and our brother Jan Diwan, who is now ill. May Allah give him the best of health. These were the pioneers who started 19 years ago, and there were less than 20 dots in Southern California who were connected with Shura Council. 19 years later, today, we have more than 65 members or dots connected with Shura Council. And there are more than 20 affiliates who are directly or indirectly connected with Shura Council. This makes Southern California a vibrant community of more than 500,000 Muslims with more than 100 masajid, owning more than $100 million assets in Southern California. I like all of you to give a big round of applause to yourselves. And as our community is growing, obviously our needs are growing, and they are very diverse. I don't believe Shura Council is fully equipped to fulfill all the emerging needs of our community. But we do our best with the little that we have. And one such project that I have spoken before about was the Masjid Operations Manual that you will see in the video shortly in more detail. But the intent of this is to help our 60, 80, 100 masajid become more effective in serving their communities using the optimum resources that they have. And therefore, the first phase of this is, is to put together a operations manual 
we have manuals for almost everything in the world today except how to run a masjid. And once these pioneers retire, then people like me and uh, younger than me uh, may or may not necessarily have the same wisdom that they had to run the masajid in the fashion that they did. And therefore, we need a reference, we need a, a guide so that we can use that as our reference tool to make our masajid, inshallah ta'ala, more vibrant. And the second phase of this is to uh, provide training workshops with the subject matter experts to our masajid leaders, lay and clergy, imams and non-imams, so that they can, inshallah ta'ala, uh, 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 take care of the as different aspects of uh, masajid governance, operations, programs, policies, safety and security. By the grace of Allah, more than $20 million or $25 million are secured now of the assets of the masajid under the Shura Council Group Masjid Insurance Program. This wasn't available 25 years ago, but today it is. And we hope that we, inshallah, secure all of the assets for generations to come. It's our collective obligation, I believe, to envision our next decade, what Muslim life is going to be like in Southern California or North America. But we need to have tomorrow's vision. It is said that nothing ages more quickly than yesterday's vision for the future. Similarly, Shura Council also brought together outside of Masajid and the Masajid leaders are Aimma. Back in the days, the Imams would uh, have difficulty having cell phones in their pocket. Now they tweet, mashallah. How many of you following the Imams who are tweeting in our Southern California land? A lot of us, right? And I follow the non-Imams as well. Uh, Dr. Tariq Ramadan, may Allah bless you for wonderful tweets that you send. And we learn so much from, uh, from them and by retweeting and sending it to others also. But the Imams came together just not too long ago for the first time, a very large number of them, uh, which Shura Council organized, uh, and they discussed the complex emerging issues that are confronting our communities today. At the Shura Council, primarily the Masajid lay leaders get together in discussing matters of common concern and greater good for the community at large. But the Imams did not have an organized forum, and by the grace of Allah, now that there is a forum and that you will hear some of those Imams as well uh, speaking in the video, uh, this is a major project and major development that we, inshallah, uh, will be uh, advancing in, in this year to come. It is said that an organization, as Dr. Hatut said, and my sister, dear Adina, all as well said, that the, the strength of an organization is not necessarily always in its size. You know, Federal Express has 28,000 employees. Bank of America has 40,000 employees. But the strength of an organization is in the spirit with which it works. By the grace of Allah, Shura Council's spirit is simple. Only together, only together we can make a difference. And by that spirit, we have seen an example. There are many examples, but I'll use one example today that perhaps will help us recognize the power of when people come together, organic relationships happen, and then magic happens. Not too long ago, only a few years ago, a young man from Los Angeles was on the table of Shura Council, and I will not take his name for a minute, just for suspense purposes. And another masjid in the inner city, in, in, the, in, in Orange County, in the suburbia, did not know of this young man. Only heard about him. And it just so happened that the leaders of one masjid in suburbia and the leader of another inner city masjid, they came together, they sat together, they ate together, they had coffee together, halal coffee, I mean. And then the relationship grew that relationship resulted in pairing the masjid as a sister masjid. And that one masjid started literally taking care of this masjid as a sister or a brother. And that relationship now even evolved furthermore and a new project came into being in Los Angeles called Islah Los Angeles. And this happened because Islamic Institute of Orange County in Anaheim 
and Masjid Ibadillah in Los Angeles, they came together who did not know one another a while back. Today they are now in partnership in serving for the sake of Allah, the entire greater Los Angeles community. And that's the power I believe is when we work together, then magic happens. Four years ago, Dr. Ramadan, when you were here, I had coined a phrase that dreaming is halal. After the meeting, somebody came to me and corrected me and said, no, dreaming is not halal. Halal dreaming is halal. <laughs> and I accept both of that. And I'll give you an example why I dream and why dreaming is halal. One of the dreams of Shura Council is to bring together not only Muslim communities, masajid, Muslim organizations in Southern California, but all of California. It's not a very wishful thinking. It is, it can happen. Not too long ago, less than a month ago, our state has suffered a drought worse than in the last 30 years. Some of us prayed dua istisqa in our masajid in Southern California. Simply an idea by the leaders of the Shura Council Majlis, they said, look, we have people in Bakersfield, we have people in North California, what if we organize a dua istisqa throughout the state of California for the good of all? All I had to do was send one email to Islamic Shura Council of Bakersfield, second email to Islamic Council of North California, and we had a statewide dua istisqa. Rain did happen, though a little belated. And that's again the power of working together. Last time when Badr Ramadan came, Ramadan came early. This time Ramadan brought rain also, mashallah, to Los Angeles. I like to take a moment and acknowledge among many people, I, I, I can't even begin to start acknowledging and then miss somebody, but there is a special group of people who came here from more than 150 miles. They drove in rain to be with us tonight. And I'd like us to take a moment and honor them. If my brothers from Bakersfield, could you kindly stand up? These are the brothers from Islamic Shura Council of Bakersfield. Only three masajid. And they were gracious enough to honor us tonight driving more than 150 miles for no other reason but for the sake of Allah and to show their solidarity with the Islamic Shura Council of Southern California. If Allah wills, this year we will plan two projects along with Bakersfield community and as well with North. One is to publish a statewide community resource directory so that our more masajid can interact with each other, such as has happened in Los Angeles. And number two is to also do a statewide open mosque day that we so celebrate here in Southern California. Imagine in October this year, all of the masajid in the entire state of California open their doors for people of all faiths and traditions to come and see and, and meet us, greet us, eat with us, talk to us, and so on and so on. How many of you would like that to see it happen? <laughs> Beautiful. Lastly, as Sister Dina is looking at me, and lastly, we also have a very important collective obligation toward what is known as the Mustadafin, those who do not have a voice. The 11 million people who are quote-unquote undocumented in our country do not have a voice. You and I have to give a voice. It is in your name that I rolled my sleeves and walked in the same path that many other people 50 years ago have walked from Delano to Sacramento, grape farm workers whose rights were being abused. Whether they are Muslims or non-Muslims, atheists or agnostics, I do not care. I as a Muslim, my responsibility to fight for their, them and seek justice for them. And that's our role and that's our responsibility. Another group of that mustadafin are the people who are incarcerated in the 36 prisons in Southern California throughout. A year and a half ago, you all gave us the mandate, go ahead, serve them. We have honored every promise we made. You asked us to provide them the educational materials. We published and we printed and we distributed the materials outside in the Shura Council table. You can see those samples. You will shortly see uh, in the video as well. Now we have also trained more than 30 volunteers from three different communities, and I like this to increase 
our goal in 2014 is to have a pool of 100 volunteers who would go and visit these Muslim inmates throughout the Southland to fulfill their spiritual needs. I like to recognize these three communities who have given us more than 30 volunteers. Islamic Institute of Orange County, Islamic Center of South Bay in Lomita, and Islamic Society Corona Norco, and Islamic Society of Orange County. Would you join me in giving them a big round of applause? And if those of you who have gone through the Shura Council volunteer training program, would you please rise and let us acknowledge you for the selfless service you are giving for the spiritual growth of the people in the Southern California prisons. Would you please rise? Don't be shy about it. <laughs> Islamic Society, Orange County, Corona Narco, IIOC, and Lomita. May Allah bless all of you. In closing, and this is real closing, we do all of this and have been doing all of this with a very, very small staff. They are two and a half people. Two and a half staff. Three people and two and a half staffing. And there are scores of volunteers like yourself. Our budget is extremely, extremely modest. In fact, I was told by somebody that governor of this state is going to follow the budget model of Shura Council so that we are never in deficit. Our budget is about $400,000 for 2014 for this year, of which tonight our goal is only $150,000, which is primarily used in operations, in programming, and staffing. Those are the three broad areas, essentially. And if there are ways for you to tell us how to cut corners and make it more happen, we are all ears and all open, inshallah. So I hope that today you all would be able to open your hearts, your pockets, and if you don't, I'll see you in the parking lot, inshallah. <laughs> and uh, in closing, I always like to say that the world is run by people who simply show up. I like to applaud you and respect you and thank you from the bottom of my heart for showing up strong tonight. Jazakamullah khair and salam alaikum.